Uh, and I'd like to apologize. Uh, I would like to give a conference in French, but uh, unfortunately, given the nature of our uh, uh, organization, uh, there are a lot of scholars here that are not able to uh, speak French. And therefore, I'll be conducting this presentation in English. But I encourage all of you who wish to address me during the Q&A session in French uh, to feel free to do so uh, later on uh, and ask questions in, in French, because uh, I can speak French. My name is Jordan Chosekulovsky. I come from Temple University, Japan, uh, from Tokyo. So what I have here for you today, it's a presentation entitled In Between the Isolated Self, What's a Just Critique of Western Individualism and Ethics? <coughs> um, this is um, in relation to previous uh, presentations I've given on Watsuji in relation to the notion of kata, but the notion of kata will be exempt this time from this presentation. So uh, let's get started. And All right. First, I would like to discuss in general uh, the general notion of Western moral individualism. Uh, a universal feature of Western moral philosophy throughout the history would be the attempt to construct a um, moral system that allows individuals at all times, all situations, be able to judge what and why should do morally. Now, this is a general framework uh, how Western society, culture, and civilization, uh, of course, there are a lot of different approaches, and it's difficult to generalize. But if we have to, this would be uh, the framework in which uh, I would define uh, moral uh, behavior. Now, there are a few issues uh, historically. Uh, with this approach uh, that stem from uh, various reasons. And uh, those reasons usually refer to questionable definitions. And those questionable definitions are the defi defining objective moral standards, as well as rational means for deciding upon these standards. So if ethical claims ba are based usually in metaphysics uh, cannot be firmly supported or proven by these very uh, claims, then the conclusion would be that there cannot be any ethical system, no ethical system that applies to all human beings at all times and in all situations. So the universal dimension of Western moral individualism is uh, <coughs> being put under scrutiny and questioned by the very uh, uh, same uh, philosophers uh, that came to uh, develop it and uh, later on uh, question it, its own uh, application. Now, I would just briefly try to give uh, uh, an overview, again, in general terms, uh, how would we define this individualist uh, take on, on Western society and culture in opposition to a uh, more collectivist approach to that of more uh, Oriental or Asian cultures. So according to Hofstadt, individualism would be an approach that pertains to societies in which the ties between individuals are loose and everyone is expected to look after him or herself and his or her immediate family. While collectivism pertains to societies in which people from birth onwards integrate into strong cohesive in-groups which throughout people's lifetime continue to protect them in exchange for unquestioning loyalty. So this would be a general uh, outline in, 
again, as I pointed out, I'm not trying to be specific here, uh, just to, to set the, the stage for uh, what follows next, uh, because what Vatruji is questioning is not specific philosopher or philosophy. He's tr questioning uh, the entire concept, concept of Western moral individualism itself. So, Watsuji, in his major work, uh, Rinrigaku, or Ethics, he offers original critical perspective on modern attempts to grind, ground ethics as a result of actions and de decisions <coughs> of a con conscious individual subject, which Watsuji argues against. So he argues against this Western conception of the human being that puts the individual at the center of all modes of existence and then substitutes it for the totality of all human existence and therefore experience. So Watsuji is firmly against this uh, approach. And of course he has his own take and reasons why. That's why he developed an entire uh, theory in, in Rinrigaku or ethics, which refers to <coughs> uh, he refers to as the study of Ningen or the study of man. So this view of the world, according to Watsuji, can be traced back to the assumption that the isolated ego is the starting point for modern philosophy, and I think this is really important. Since philosophy in general, it's a Western uh, enterprise, and uh, any other uh, attempt at philosophizing becomes subjugated accordingly to this very center uh, of, of reference, uh, that is the West, that's why you have Japanese, Indian, um, Chinese, whatever philosophy you, you may name, but we don't refer to our own philosophy as European uh, philosophy in general. When we say philosophy, we usually refer to, to that of the West. And uh, being the isolated ego in, in ethical sense, being the, the uh, starting point for, for modern philosophy, uh, I think it's a crucial uh, thing to, to, to uh, highlight. Uh, especially in light of Watsuji's arguments. Now, he claims that this is a flawed account of human agency. Uh, since Western moral individualism uh, takes the individual as being the sole moral agent uh, that can decide based on certain uh, critical intellectual tools that are given uh, and acquired through, through socialization and education, um, relying solely on the individual is the wrong way to go. Because, as he puts it, the isolated subject is merely an abstraction derived from interpersonal relationships. So the isolated subject, he sees the, the subject in isolation as seen through the lenses, uh, through the eyes of Western uh, philosophical approach in this sense. And in this sense, it's just an abstraction which is derived from interpersonal uh, relationships. So fixating on the isolated ego um, as a conceptual period distracts attention from what Watsuji sees as truly fundamental in this sense, which he points would be the true starting point for ethics. And this is concrete human existence. Now he does not reject the rational subject and he puts, uh, he says, with an emphasis on human beings as contemplating subject, but that's only secondary to the very fact that the concrete human existence is what really matters here. So true starting point of ethics, as in Rinrigaku, uh, 
Parin uh, usually refers to the Grand uh, Rin as in, in uh, ancient Chinese uh, thought, uh, the Rin of relationships, the great Rin of relationships that he, he depicts in Rinrigarhu itself, uh, while, while Ri usually refers to reason. Um, also, it's uh, valuable to mention that uh, Rin specifically Watsuji uses uh, in in the sense and the meaning of pattern as, as I, 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 I claim uh, uh, very close to, to the idea and the notion of, of kata itself. Now therefore he postulates that the locus of ethical problems lies specifically in what he defines as in betweenness of person and person, and not in the consciousness of the isolated individual. So, ethical problems do not uh, do not the locus of these problems is does not rely. Uh, on the soul and uh, individual consciousness of an isolated individual, but in this in-betweenness, as he puts, of person and person. Because of this, he considers ethics to be the study of man, or the Japanese word ningen, which has a little bit more uh, extra meaning than uh, the sim simply put in relation to the word in English itself. Now, this in-betweenness among individuals is precisely what allows uh, Watsuji to rethink the concept of ethics, move away from individual-centered ethics, since, as he puts it, it is impossible to resolve ethical problems solely relying on individual experiences and contemplative efforts conducted by an individual itself. Now, rethinking the concept of ethics, that's the major achievement of, of Watsuji's Rinrigaku. And moving away from the individual-centered ethics, I think uh, it's one of the most important contributions that Watsuji has made to uh, modern uh, Japanese thought and philosophy in this case. <clears throat> so this is crucial uh, if we are to shift ethics away from regulative principles and clarification of moral responsibilities, which is the case with, with Western moral and individualism in, in general. Um, if we see ethics solely as based on, on making judgments by uh, isolated individuals, which is based on a, on a set of regulative principles that clarify, clarify our moral responsibilities, what we should do and what we shouldn't do in a given situation, and uh, then um, we need, if we need to rethink this, uh, that's why the previous notions uh, and uh, conclusions are, are important. So where does Watsuji wants to go? If moving f away from uh, normative and regulative principles and clarification of these responsibilities, then he says he wants to move towards fellow human beings and the study of the human, as in ethics being, Rinrigaku being the study of Ningen itself. So it's not just postulating regulative normative principles, it is understanding the human being in this interrelational environment uh, itself and how it is defined through it. So 
Watsuji, in this case, insists, a human being is not simply an individual. So we're not just merely individuals. But a member of various social groupings. And as such, should be defined fundamentally as a we rather than an I. I think this is a very interesting uh, point he makes. Um, defining the individual rather as, as a we than an I. So what does this mean actually, right? What does this actually mean? Accordingly, to be an I means to be a correlative we or a correlate we in a sense that a we composed of multiple eyes, which means an individual is in, cannot be sus subtracted or it's inseparable from the grouping to which it belongs to or the milieu or, or the, uh, the relationships that entangle the individual itself into the social uh, milieu. Now, I would like to uh, underscore here that the correlate uh, we, it's, it's uh, how I define uh, this, the meaning of Watsuji's uh, previous uh, for, uh, postulate. So this in turn implies that for an individual to exist means to be among other fellow human beings. Since Aristotle, we know we are social animals. As he said himself, only gods or beasts are able to live on their own. Humans, on the other hand, are not. So we live as social animals. Now, to exist means to be among. And this essential correlatedness, it's what actually uh, Watsuji calls aidagara or betweenness. This is exactly what he has in mind. So, just the writing of aidagara or the kanji, there are uh, two glyphs. One is aida or gen, which means space or between, and the other one is gara, which means nature. But more in order to keep with Watsuji's usage, I prefer to refer to it as pattern. Now, Aidagara literally translates as between pattern, or more simply, as we're all accustomed to, especially the Watsuji scholars, relationship. So, usually we refer to it as relationship is this relational uh, dimension to it. So it's important to highlight here that even though uh, we have Aida in both Negen and Aida Gara, it has nothing to do with physical distance between individuals, right? That would be uh, really obvious. At times, as I previously highlight, highlighted, among helps elucidate the intended meaning, such as in the phrase, among one's fellow human beings, to be among. In any case, the space that Gara refers to, I like to call mid-place, or maybe in French it would be better something of the sorts of milieu, mi, lieu, right? So this, this mid-place is in between individuals and not a place, place that exists prior to their interaction and it's not physical place. It's not a space in, the, in this, uh, in this uh, way. Now, how do we define the mid-place? So I define it as all-encompassing form or in 
of human relationships. Again, the rin, rin is the form or the kata or the pattern here, which in, individuates among and within the relational, interrelational pattern. So it's the pattern itself, the rin itself, that individuates. It's not the individual. It doesn't stem from the individual. It stems from, from the rin. Um, and in order to capture this all-inclusive interrelationality, uh, in which we're all wrapped up as individuals, according to Vatsuji's uh, uh, thinking, I think and I propose that instead of using the word in between, the use, the more appropriate use would be within. It's within the rain. It's within this interrelational pattern itself. So there's no space, there's no, no between. It's rather within. And this is the last slide I'll leave for you all to, to look at. This is the latest number of the European Journal of Japanese Philosophy in which my uh, paper titled Watsuji's Ethics from the Perspective of Kata is the Technology of the Self, in which part of this presentation uh, is, uh, is part of, of the paper. If you're interested, please take a look at it. And this is a book written in French, Posture et Pratique de l'Homme. Uh, if you're interested, you can see it at the stand as well. Uh, there's one part dedicated to kata uh, in it. Uh, and that would be all. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. It was a very clear presentation. So we can open for questions now. Parler en français, si vous pouvez le traduire, s'il vous plaît. Euh, D'abord, c'est une très belle euh, présentation. Je vous félicite énormément. Euh, bien content de vous voir. Euh, bon, euh, j'ai une question. C'est euh, au niveau de cette interrelation, ou ce rapport, cet espace qui est un non-lieu, qui est un, un milieu, comme vous dites très bien, euh, comment est-ce que les rapports éthiques vont se faire Dès qu'il n'y a pas une loi, on dirait quelque chose d'en haut qui va régler au niveau de, de la rationalité, est-ce qu'il y aura, euh, est-ce qu'il n'y a aucune prescription Comment ça se fait cette éthique au niveau des actions qui se passent entre les deux mm -hmm. Bonjour, je vous remercie de, de cette question. C'est une très bonne question en fait. Et si vous permettez, je vais répondre en anglais pour que oui, oui, oui. tout le monde puisse euh, comprendre. Um, uh, the question for those who didn't, uh, who don't understand French is, uh, within this um, interrelational pattern itself, which is a non-place, a non-space, which is a mid-place, uh, where do the ethical uh, prescriptions actually em emerge from how do they appear uh, because there, there's, there is supposed to be a certain f form of um, uh, regulative principles, uh, right? Well, Watsuji, again, I'll, I'll give just an example, I think uh, clarifies that it is the relationship itself that defines, uh, first of all, the individual roles. So when I mentioned the, the great uh, rins, as in, in Chinese, uh, I wouldn't say antiquity, but ancient thought, Watsuji itself, he says, he's not trying to recreate a model based on the ancient Chinese thought, but then again, uh, the notion of rin is very fundamental uh, here because it's not because we have biologically father the child that we are a father we are a father through the relationship that we establish with the child itself and it's, it goes both ways so there is uh, um, 
it's not to say that we do not prescribe uh, ethical principles, but it's not solely the individual itself that gets to decide uh, what's right and what's wrong based on those principles. So when we are entangled in a multi-relational uh, 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 environment, when we have to consider a multiplicity of choices and outcomes uh, that, that what we decide and how this affects not solely myself and one other individual, but an entire uh, social setting in, to which we belong to, which is pretty obvious to those who come and live in Japan, how this works uh, and, and why uh, Japanese people, for example, uh, think in a certain way and fashion, uh, according to, to Watsuji, uh, this becomes much more clear. Uh, there, there are uh, prescribed norms uh, of conduct, but it's not only uh, does not we, uh, ethics do not do, does not solely rely on the uh, isolated uh, individual self and, and self uh, reflection to to decide what's right, what's wrong, and what right what what kind of conduct we should engage in a given situation. So. It's, it's much more complex than that, and it's defined by the interrelational uh, form or pattern uh, in, in that given setting itself. I, I hope this yeah, makes thank sense. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much, John. What was very clear and interesting talk. So, you kind of began by talk, you get this generalization about. Western world philosophy as being individual, and of course that's Wasuji's understanding. But I wonder if it's still relevant or still accurate when you think of people like Habermas. So for him, it's not about sort of individual. So we could say that it's kind of communication between person and person. So can we rethink that? And is sort of Wasuji's approach still relevant in light of that? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I thank you for your question. This is another really good question, because uh, when it comes to Habermas, um, he's he he still hasn't dealt with this nor normative. He's actually exactly what Watsuji is trying to criticize, and this is what Habermas is is reinforcing. This is what Habermas is trying to say that we are lacking today, and we need to. Uh, uh, even more so, be even more normative in the approach that that we uh, uh, we have um, in philosophy, in ethics, and in, in other spheres of, of human behavior. So, uh, yeah, I, w without going into into specifics, I think you you, you understand very well what what I mean. Uh, I think Habermas it's a very good uh, example as being exactly what Watsuji is criticizing and therefore making it even more so relevant in today's context, especially uh, in continental European philosophy, at, at least from this standpoint. And I thank you for giving us this example. <laughs> thank you. Marado, please. Uh, yes, I, I'd like to come back to um, the relationship between the I and the we that you mentioned. Yes. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to present a possible criticism and see what you think of it. Um, so, Watsuji, in your point is that normally uh, the I, the tendency is to abstract the I from its relationship with others, with the we. But doesn't Watsuji himself abstract the we from that of which it consists, the multiple individuals? on the one hand, and doesn't he also abstract the we, on the other hand, from the particular kind of, of community or collectivity uh, that, um, that makes up different kinds of we? For example, you mentioned that, uh, you mentioned the, the relationship between uh, members of a family, the father and the children and so forth. That's one kind of we, the we conjoined in a particular family. It's a completely different kind of we from the we of this group of um, friends and, and strangers. It's completely different from the kind of we of, uh, say, the, the citizens of Paris, or the, the, the French nationals, or the nationals of the EU, 
I, so it's a completely abstractive kind of we um, that, that is uh, probably an even greater abstraction, since Watsuji doesn't differentiate between levels of communities, um, than the, the abstraction of the I. What would you say to that? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Actually, I haven't given a lot of thought to this, and uh, I appreciate uh, this point of view. Um, one thing would be that, of course, Watsuji's uh, work, uh, it's, in a sense, uh, pioneer work uh, in Japan, and it cannot account for all the possible uh, um, outcomes and uh, especially does not really uh, someone needs to take Watsuji there uh, that's as I'm trying to do for a certain aspect of, of his work so someone else would I guess would have to do the work and, and take and see what's possible and what's not possible in, in this sense uh, Watsuji from what I conclude He's not interested in in uh, in all this um, uh, general. The the more general it becomes, he's less interested, to, so to speak. Because when he refers to the uh, the again those grand rein grand reins of of relation relationships uh, such as the the lords and the vassal, uh, a parent and a child, um, he's uh, trying to portray different cases in this. In one case, we have a kind of a uh, social and political uh, aspect of of of, uh, of human uh, position and, and and behavior in society, uh, and then parenting would be more and it would be it would refer more to the public sphere, so to speak. The other the other case would refer more to the private uh, when it comes to the parenting. But again, what matters here it's the interrelational. Uh, context in which they we define ourselves not because we are completely autonomous and exempt uh, and we have this uh, capacity or faculty to think independently of, of, of the context in which we are uh, we find ourselves in but that we are uh, completely uh, so to speak um, absorbed in this interrelational pattern and that we we have no means to escape so uh, thinking that we uh, basically have any uh, autonomy in this sense according to Watsuji that would be my guess uh, uh, it's the wrong way to see uh, how this works so I'm not sure if I'm I'm making any sense now <laughs> uh, in relation to, to, to your question, but uh, when it comes to the individuating function of, of, of therein, uh, that, that's what he's interested in. in. Let's say, for example, um, when F Michel Foucault uh, exemplifies what uh, Jeremy Bentham was seeking when he uh, discovered the panopticon model and how he portrays the very same, uh, um, he ex expands the model to, to democratic uh, institutions, and and he was he points out how Bentham was in, interested specifically in the individuating function of, of the panopticon system itself. Uh, I'm not sure if the analogy would be correct here, uh, but at least in that sense, I think Watsuji was seeking this individuating factor, which it is uh, dependent. Um, in a sense, like if I come to think of it right now, it would be a, a panoptic uh, model uh, in a way, this interrelational model. But that's that's maybe another thing for another conference and uh, another paper. But uh, come to think of it, uh, now making the parallel or the analogy. Uh, yeah, this individuating aspect is, is what matters. So uh, do we, um, uh, no matter it's true to we that we have uh, the possibility of individuating uh, within the, the framework uh, that I uh, described earlier. So I, I'm not sure how 
to what extent actually Wataji was concerned or interested in, in uh, providing those answers to begin with. So, uh, uh, well, what happens to the notion of uh, autonomy in Watsuji? Well, um, the autonomy, um, I, I think it, it still exists uh, because uh, Watsuji does not deny uh, individuals being able to make decision, decisions themselves. Uh, he's just saying that uh, we, we, are, we are not completely isolated. We, we do not live in isolation. And uh, it's not just physically, but mentally as well. So when we make decisions, uh, we do not have complete autonomy uh, to begin with. But there is a certain degree of autonomy that he would agree with, I, I'm sure. Uh, absolutely. So even though the concept of autonomy is not completely exempt uh, or present to begin with, uh, I think it's still there. Uh, there is uh, autonomy in, in this sense. It's just different from what we are accustomed to. <laughs> yes, um, thank you for your, for your presentation. I have a question uh, regarding your proposed translation of Aida, Aida, Aida Kara as within and not as between us, mm -hmm. it is usually translated. And I wonder if your translation doesn't make things worse in what city as it already is. I'm thinking of his, his dialectics of dual negation, right? Mm -hmm. Where the individual is finally quite filled up by the, by the whole. Um, this is one major problem in transcendentalics, I think. And if you maintain the possibility of negating a norm that is being posited by a whole, I think you have to have some kind of distance between the individual and the whole. I think in the term of between us, this distance is still preserved, while if you translate with within, it isn't any longer. So, and this connects with the, the problem of norms of the colleague the before I mentioned. So there has to be some distance between the whole and the individual in order to account for the historicity of norms. Because we have norms and they're all the same. They change all the time. And we have to give an account why is it so and how do they change. And for that, I think you have to preserve a distance which Watsuji, in a way, did when he was an Ayala, it's Ayala, some distance, some open space, or some, some clearing, if you wish. Uh, but with your translation of within, I think this possibility collapses. And I'm not sure if that was Watsuji was after. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your question. Uh, I, I think I, I need to clarify this point uh, a little bit further. First, I'm not proposing a different translation. I'm proposing a different uh, understanding of, of uh, what the notion of Aitagara actually specifically refers to. And as I said, uh, if we... Uh, within it's far more consistent with uh, Watsuji's use of the notion of rain as pattern, which is in, in a sense totalizing and englobing uh, the individual relationships. Therefore, we're within the rain itself. And it's from the rain itself that the individuating function uh, uh, happens 
to begin with. So there is no space in physical sense and uh, I think there's no need to, to, to seek it because that's quite obvious uh, that individuals are separated, I mean, uh, as, as we are physically, one from another. But what Watsuji is seeking is, is um, this collective, um, not identity, but um, again, uh, I guess, this dynamic interrelational uh, function of, 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 the, of, the, of the framework that he established within which uh, human existence and modes of existence are possible. Without it, uh, we, 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 uh, there's no human uh, beings, so to speak, in the sense that we perceive ourselves. So um, that, that was, I, I tried to be more consistent with the Watsuji's usage of within as pattern, and that's why I proposed within. In a way, I agree with you, uh, in so much as there is no physical distance. That I agree with you. But on the other hand, what Suji also says that Aida and Kana are formed, casing, using this notion of casing, they are formed. And they are not already there, but they are, they are constantly formed and reformed and altered, maybe even polished, I don't know. But when he says this, that Aida and Kana are I think he maintains the possibility that there is an existence. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there would no forming be possible. Uh, of course, but I think it's too obvious, and there, there's no need to actually postulate that. I mean, that, that, that's something that's. Um, but without that, Also, within within does not cancel that distance. Okay. Does not cancel. It means it defines the space so. with, within which we have that distance. If you say so, so okay. at least that would be my take. I, I I'm not sure. But if it, still, you have to account for a principle mm -hmm. to indicate and alter or polish. Mm. But that's another vast issue. Right? Yes. I don't think that he satisfactorily has solved it, so we have to help him out. <laughs> and I think that's what we are thinking about. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely think more about this. I mean, this is still work in progress, so I, I, I thank you for, for the comment. Thank you. Uh, please, uh, a quick question. Quick, quick question. Uh, my question is uh, uh, related to, I think, uh, to uh, many of the uh, uh, previous questions and uh, I um, so what what is the, uh, talks about the double negation of uh, the individual as a whole right? and uh, so uh, they are dialectically uh, related to each other but uh, they are they don't stand on this on the equal uh, footing but uh, 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 obviously uh, what uh, places um, a, a, a kind of uh, um, um, importance and priority to 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 the whole. So uh, for him, uh, what is good? Good is defined uh, by uh, the individuals negating uh, 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 the, sorry, the other way around. Um, and the the, um, in the uh, uh, the holds uh, and negates negating in the individuals, individuals return to the whole. Mm. Uh, that's a, uh, M, that is uh, what is good for uh, And uh, I think uh, it makes sense to criticize uh, uh, Western modern uh, individualism, but I don't think uh, Watsuji's uh, um, <clears throat> privileging of the communal we is the uh, only alternative to uh, 
uh, modern individual. So uh, from that point of view, uh, as far as I know, uh, there have been uh, a number of criticisms of what is uh, ethics in Japan. Uh, <coughs> In the late uh, 20th century, uh, uh, and uh, those crit critiques are not uh, from the from the point of view of uh, uh, modern individualism. Uh, there are other point of view. Um, <clears throat> uh, so in in in, in those criticisms, um, Watsuji's um, um, tendency to uh, negate or uh, reduce the otherness of the other uh, is uh, the most problematic. So uh, what do you think uh, about uh, uh, those prob uh, that problematic uh, raised uh, in, in these questions? Well, thank you again. Uh, I'm I'm very pleased to have so many various and interesting questions that actually uh, I, I, I haven't touched upon during the presentation and uh, I surely will look into further uh, after this uh, conference is over. I'm, to be honest, I'm, I'm not familiar with all the critique that Watsuji is getting from Japanese scholars, but to a certain extent I'm familiar uh, with, with some of it. So. Um, Again, um, I think it really depends on the understanding of, of what Watsuji was trying to achieve. And also, uh, do these scholars, do they simply try to in reinterpret or interpret his, uh, his work or they try to move forward by using Watsuji's work and achieve something more? <clears throat> in my case, I I'm not arguing for uh, in favor of a communal we. I was just trying to analyze how, in Watsuji's model, uh, where does the individuating function come from? Because since the individual itself is not responsible for it, then it has to stem from somewhere. And it is within this interrelationship, interrelational framework and, 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 and context that, that it actually happens. So I tried to actually so to speak, decorticate and, 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 and present these various aspects and, and elements of Watsuji's uh, system and thought and presumably, hopefully, uh, inspire others to take upon and, and make further use of this concept in a new light. Uh, and that's what I would like to achieve. Uh, not solely uh, criticized, because there's a lot of criticism of Watsuji, as there is already, and as uh, many other scholars, uh, as, as, uh, not, not, not solely uh, himself. So the com communal self, um, I, um, I, I apologize, your, your, your comment was a bit long. Uh, so I, I kind of, from the double negation to, <laughs> I kind of forgot uh, all everything you, you've said. So uh, if you don't mind reminding me one more time about uh, what specifically you would like me to address. Uh, uh, so um, according to some critics, um, 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 what is this uh, tendency to uh, reduce the otherness of uh, the other? in favor of uh, the individuals belonging to the community uh, is prob problematic. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I don't see that Watsuji is reducing the otherness of others. Actually, he's as establishing the boundaries. And, and, and uh, again, as I pointed out on, on many uh, multiple occasions throughout my presentation, he's defining the framework within which this happens. And, and how this interrelational um, um, not only uh, aspects of uh, in terms of individuation but also in establishing uh, uh, parameters that <coughs> help individuals uh, uh, create identities and, and so on uh, become to emerge and become more clear so um, I think uh, if we would to approach Watsuji as uh, uh, 
reducing the otherness, as you pointed out, of others, uh, I think that would be a misunderstanding of, of uh, to, at least in the way that I'm reading Watsuji, uh, I'm not seeing uh, that he actually aims to, to eliminate uh, the individual uh, In one of the uh, uh, critics' words uh, uh, for, for Watsuji, uh, the other exists only as all, uh, uh, the other belonging to the community. So uh, there's no other beyond the community. Yeah, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to <laughs> comment on this or just? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have more time. We have to conclude. <laughs> so, uh, um, maybe we can bring more questions to lunchtime. Yeah, why don't we uh, continue this discussion after the presentation? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for the. Thank you. All.